friend of mine asked about Adafruit I2C library. You know, where to find it, you know, what to do when you do find it, um, what functions there were, and the parameters in those functions. So this is going to be my attempt to try to explain it short and sweet. And yes, this is Halloween related. But this also got started because the purchase of the microcontroller was made before the knowledge was obtained of how to use the thing. So here we go. I'm try to explain it all. So here's the code. And uh, right off, you can see I'm on a Linux machine. But uh, this can be used on Windows. You just get rid of the first line. And you see the imported modules, time module, OS module, and the Adafruit I2C module. Now, the first line after this, you got the I2C, a variable I2C equals Adafruit I2C, and then the hex value of the the address that your desi your device resides at on the I2C bus. All right. Once you plug that in, uh, that will be assigned to the variable I2C. Okay. Uh, then we get down to the main loop of the program, and this is um, where the function in question comes in. the The part that uh, my friend had a some difficulty understanding and I'm going to try to uh, make it understandable so anyway um, first variable bytes and equals this Adafruit I2C dot read list that's the function and here are the parameters three parameters in that function alright uh, first thing you want to know is where do you find these functions since wasn't able to find a whole lot of uh, uh, code for the Adafruit I2C, but it did have a URL, and that's a GitHub URL for. Um, here we go. Uh, Adafruit Biglebone IO Python Adafruit I2C. All right, and this is the source showing the Adafruit I2C class and all the functions in that class. And you got reverse byte order, error message, write 8, write 16, but the one we're interested in is read list. Alright, this is the function we're going to use to obtain the data we need to get the readings or the, the bytes we need to make uh, put it plug into our Celsius formula formula to get temperature reading and uh, read list has three functions self reg or register and length uh, self really doesn't help any because it's in a class so the first first uh, parameter is always self but if you dig into it a little bit more you'll come down here and you'll see results this variable results equals self dot bus dot read i2c block data and this function here happens to be a function of the sm bus library and i recognize it so okay so i'm on the right track and uh, the three parameters are right here self dot address which helps because now i know it's an address and that address is going to be the address of the device on your I2C. Okay, reg would be register. And this is where we have to look a little closer. And we're going to have to go to the data sheet. And it will be a data sheet for a TMP 102 temperature sensor. That's what he got and we want to find out what the number of that 
temperature register is and uh, in the data sheet under application information it shows our registers pointer register temperature register configuration register T low T high and the only one we're, we're really interested in is the temperature register that's the one we want to get our data from and right down here they have a helpful little table and it lists all the registers and it will give you the number the temperature register is well zero and the configuration will be one T low register would be two binary two and T high register would be it would be the binary three register but we're only interested in the temperature register which is zero so that explains where the zero comes from it's the register we want to get the data our data from and if we go down well too far if we look here in the data sheet and explains temperature register a little bit more and where is it we'll scan down here all right it says this register stores the output of the most recent conversion all right and it says two bytes must be read to obtain that data and it's described in table three and table four here's table three which is byte one and table four which is byte two so that tells me all I need all the data I need are in the first two bytes that will be returned from that function so if we go back to github adafruit we're looking at the the function again alright so we know the first parameters address the address that our device resides at the register which would be register 0 which we got from our data sheet told us the register that we're interested in that we want to get our information from which is register 0 and the length which is two bytes the first two bytes of uh, the list that will be re returned by this function alright so okay let's go back all right to our program so okay we found out the function we want to use which is Adafruit I2C that's the module dot the function is read list and it needs our address it needs to know the register we're interested in and how many bytes we want to read all right now we return to bytes once we get that we're going to split them up okay we want the most most significant byte which will be in bytes you know zero and least significant byte will be in bytes one and we'll plug that into our Celsius formula here and then we will print it out and plug the Celsius into our Fahrenheit formula and we'll print that out uh, we'll go to sleep for a second and then we'll have the screen clear and do it all over again alright we'll just get out of this and run the program here it goes all right Celsius Fahrenheit and just to prove that it is working I'll put my finger over the sensor see the temperature go up take it away sensor temperature drops all right I'll stop that get back to the program well like I said before this was a uh, for a Halloween project and it is for a, a uh, fog machine chiller basically you want to automate dropping the broken chunks of dry ice into the chiller you know make it hands-free uh, you know whenever the temperature drops to a certain amount another chunk will drop in and so on and so forth for the whole night ideally but uh, that's it short and sweet and I hope this has been helpful and we will see you later